Okay, hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. Okay, so I have a lecture on chapter 3. Uh, that is introduction to root locus. Okay, so for this chapter 3, um, I will divide into three parts. Okay, so this is uh, the first part. So I will briefly explain what is root locus. And part 2 is the rules of root locus. And lastly is part 3 is the sketch the root locus. Okay, so. Alright. Sorry. Okay, so let's first uh, we see what is the lesson outcome. And what do I expect you to know once you complete this uh, topic. Okay, so first you should know. Okay, so first one is. You should know how to define the root locus, okay, and then you should also know how to sketch the root locus manually. Then you should know how to use root locus in order to find the dominant closed loop poles, and hence analyze the system using root locus. And you should also know how to apply the root locus in order to design the cascade compensators, okay, that is lag and need okay so as an introduction so what is root locus okay so by um, words root is mean root of s polynomial equation okay and locus is mean a set of path of points okay in a plural this is a loci Okay, by uh, definition, uh, the root locus is defined as a graphical presentation of the closed loop poles uh, as the system parameter is varied. Okay, so system parameters in this case is the uh, gain. Okay, so let's see uh, the characteristic equation of the closed loop system. Okay, for example, given um, this is a given uh, common unity feedback uh, closed loop system. Okay, so we have gain k and the transfer open loop transfer function gs. Okay, so the characteristic equations of the closed loop system is given as one plus k g. Yes, okay. So, why is this characteristic expression very important in the closed loop system? Okay, this is because in this equation, it has again K, which is determine uh, what is the response of the system. Okay, how do uh, we adjust the system respond from under them, critically them, or over them uh, in what we are interested in okay so the root locus is essentially the trajectories of root of the characteristic equation as parameter k parameter k is varied from 0 to infinity okay okay so let's see a simple example okay so this is a security uh, camera system okay so this system will automatically follow a subject okay so the tracking system monitors pixel changes so in according to the changes of the uh, subject position the pixel will also change and the position of the camera also will change means the camera will follow the location of the subject okay so the root locus technique can be used to analyze and design the effect of loop gain upon the system transient response and stability okay the closed loop poles of the system change location as the gain k is very okay you see here that the closed loop poles of the system will change the location as the gain k is very Okay, so this is given um, transfer function of this curiosity system. We have a subject position as the input and the camera position as the output. 
So this is the uh, gain K1 and it is represent the sensor amplifier and the second is uh, motor and camera also it has gain K2 so the overall gain is K1 and K2 okay so we can see that uh, open loop transfer function K times GH times HS okay so this is the open loop transfer function and while the closed loop transfer function say given by this equation okay so open loop transfer function okay so we have if we can if we can see that it has no zero and the poles there are two poles that is zero and minus ten okay for closed loop transfer function so we use the formula of gh over one plus g h okay oh, sorry no h at the uh, numerator okay so the closed loop pulse is depending on the k okay so closed loop pulse of the system will depend on the k okay so now let's see what happened when the k of this transfer function is changed let's say i try to put k equal to uh, sorry so let's say I try to put the k equal to 1 ok so I substitute the k equal to 1 and this is uh, the equation so it will have the uh, output of uh, response of the system will be over there and I change k to 25 for example and the system will change uh, to be happen like critically and as well as uh, k equal to 50 the system will become under them so we can see the changes of k has an effect to the system response okay so as uh, and then it is also the k as the k changes the location of the pulse also varies okay so we know that uh, the changes of K will give impact to the system response. Okay, next. Now, let's see uh, a deep details into the pool locations and its trajectory. Again, I'm using the same example. Okay, so K aspect plus 10S plus K. Okay, so we have uh, two poles. Okay, S at 0 and another pole is at minus. Then, okay here and here so at this location of pole 1 and pole 2 the k and k is 0 and here also the gain is 0 okay as we increase the k or the gain let's say we increase from 5 up to 25 so the location of poles will be at minus 5 and same as pole 2. Okay, it will move from left and this one is to the to the right and to the left. Okay, it become here. So this pole's location has gain of 25 at the real axis. Again, let's, uh, let's increase the K up to 50. Okay, once we increase the gain, uh, the location will one pole will go uh, towards the complex plane another pole also will go to the another complex plane so this is where uh, the location of pole 1 and pole 2 when the k is 50 the k is 50 okay so we can see the location has the location of the poles has changed according to the uh, gain of the system so that is what we call as path of the closed loop poles as the gain vary and we call it as a root locker okay okay next okay so now this is more clearer uh, image about the post and location and its trajectory so what can i summarize that when the gain k is less than 25 the system will be over them 
Okay, so from here to here, the system is over them. So this is mean at real axis. Okay, so when gain K is 25, is critically them. Okay, it's mean where the intersection between post 1 and post 2 before it enter the um, complex plane. Okay, now when gain K is more than 25, system will be under them. Under them means that it has entered into the uh, complex uh, complex plane. Yeah? Okay, so root locus will allow us to make the association and will become an important technique and analysis and design of higher order system. Okay, <clears throat> so you can uh, search and Google through uh, the characteristic of higher order equation as well. Okay, okay, characteristic. Yeah. So what kind of characteristics of higher order? Higher order system. Okay, so. Now let's uh, continue the locus properties. Okay, so let us consider the second, this second order system again, where this is the gain and this is the open loop transfer function GS. Okay, so the characteristic of, of uh, this equation we find that okay, so we use this formula. Okay. So, you will get the characteristic, characteristic equation is like this one. S square plus 2S and plus K. Okay, so from the characteristic equation. Okay, so the locus of the root as gain K is buried is found by requiring the, this one. This is the magnitude criterion. Magnitude criterion. And this is the face okay so from the face criterion if you find that um, the angle of the complex number is an odd multiple of the 180 degree so the value of the s is a system pole for some particular value of k meaning that if uh, you want to know in the complex or uh, in the S planes, okay. Let's say this point in the uh, plane, whether this point is uh, the root locus point or not. Okay. For example, here is uh, minus two and J two. So minus two plus J two is the location of the root locus. Okay. So, is it the location of the root locus? Okay. So, from this equation, okay, if you find that the first criterion is equal to plus minus 180 degree or multiple or odd multiple means that you have to times 3, you will get plus minus 480 degree or times 3 again. So, if you get the answer of this, then this location will be uh, pulse of the, the, the pulse of the system. Okay, now we can, we see, let us see the first example. Okay, example 3.1. Okay, um, so given the system as in figure 3.1, so, calculate the angle of GS at the point minus 2 plus J3 by finding the algebraic sum of the angles of the vector drawn from the zeros and poles of GS at the given point. So, meaning that in the S system, so this is minus 2 and this is J3. So, you find that whether this uh, location of pole is in the root locus or not. Okay, so to find whether the location is in the root locus or not, so you need to find the algebraic sum. I mean, sum of the angles of all the posts and zero. And then 
determine if the point specified in one is on the blockers. Okay, so that is the idea. Okay, now let's see the solution. Okay, so you need to find. Um, okay, so now let's again see. Okay, so K, S plus 3, S plus 4, S plus 1, S plus 2. Okay, so K, S plus 3, S plus 4, over S plus 1, S plus 2. So again, here is the zeros. And this is the poles. So you need to find the degree of every Post and zero. Okay, so by substitute the location. So, so let's say first example. Okay, so you have to find the degree. So substitute s with uh, minus two plus four and plus j three. So you will get two plus j. 3. Okay. Then, you convert this one from uh, complex poles. You can use this uh, link to convert from uh, complex to polar form. Okay. So, you will get the answer 3.61 with the degree of 56.31 so we are interested in this uh, degree same goes to um, the second uh, degree of the poles and zeros and this is all what we get okay finally so you sum of the, the zeros minus the poles Okay, so this is the zeros and this is the poles. So we get minus 70.55 degree. Okay, so since this answer that we got is, we get is not an odd multiple of 180 degree. So this location is uh, not a point on the root locker. So this is not the point on the root locker. Okay, so that is the justification. Okay. Let's see a second example. Okay, so given the system as in figure 3.2. Okay, so this is the um, open loop um, system, GS. Okay. Okay, so uh, determine whether the point of minus 3 point, uh, minus 3 plus J0 is the uh, point that is specified in the root locus. Okay, if it is, then what is the K? K. Okay, no. now let's see the, um, let's see the solution of the example. Okay, so, okay, so again we need to find uh, the uh, degree of all the equation the face uh, face criterion okay so this is the zero we have one zero and we have poles here okay so you convert this equation into a factor equation okay so we get zeros two and we get the poles at uh, poles at uh, minus 2 plus minus j 3 and we want to find whether this location is in the root locus or not ok so the first degree of the 0 we get 180 degree and for the, this one for the 0 and this is the pulse ok so the pulse you get this one the face criterion and using this formula you uh, sum up all the zeros and minus with the sum of both and finally you got the answer of 180 degrees so this is shows that uh, the answer that we get is an odd multiple of 180 degrees 
So therefore, the location of minus 3 plus J0 is a point of the root locus, meaning that the root, the root locus will go into this uh, location. So now let's see, let's us draw some uh, pictures of this root locus. So we have a 0 at minus 2. So let's say this is minus 2. We have 0 here. And my, uh, another pole is at uh, minus 2 plus J3. One pole is here. And another pole is here. Okay. So uh, the root locus will um, and this is minus 3. Minus 3 is here. Okay. So meaning that so sorry, this is the minus 3. The root locus will okay, will go here. Okay. Okay, it will go to the path. Okay. So details on how to sketch the root locus I will explain on in the next uh, slide. Okay, so finally number three it uh, it asks to find what is the gain for this uh, location of the root locus. Okay, again use the formula um, this one. Okay, um, then you substitute all the uh, equation. For example, okay, let me show you. Okay, so this is GS. GS is um, S plus 2 over S plus 2 uh, minus J3 and S plus 2 plus J3. Okay, so HS is 1. So substitute all the S with minus 3 plus J0. Okay, so you will get 1 over, so here is minus 3 would be minus 1, divided by minus 3, um, minus 3, and minus 3. Okay, so you will get here would be... Um, nine. Okay, so and so what? Almost nine. Or this one is you convert into a magnetic criteria, meaning that this is in polar form. Okay, you will get three point one six degree of something times with uh, three point one six with degree of something. Okay, this is from this compact form. Okay, so finally you will get the k of 10, meaning that when the location of the poles here, okay, the k is 10. Okay, when it start, at initial k is 0. Okay, so, okay, so that's all. Uh, you can see and go through the reference from YouTube. Okay, to, and then I will come with next slide on the part 2. Okay, thank you everyone.